the whole day. You know, it's been the year of the non-playoff driver. I'm going to stick with that theme. The guy that won our last mile and a half race in the playoffs. Tyler Reddick on the pole. Does it again. On race day, a full recap of Vegas tomorrow on the Hub at 6. We'll see you then. Have a great one, everybody. about this week's world of drag racing it is the nhra texas fall nationals coming to you but first we've got a total fan experience that's been taking place for the last 10 days where it's music it is all kinds of sensory experiences are happening for the fans and they are getting riled up and ready for another weekend of racing here at the texas motorplex fire is in the air as well as the wheels are up in the sky as the wheel standard shoots sparks to get the crowd warmed up as we are ready to go racing here at the Texas Fall Nationals. Here at the Texas Motorplex, so welcome to the broadcast booth. I'm Bruno Massel, alongside of me, the two-time funny car world champion, Tony Pedregon. And Tony, it is the countdown of the championship. We're at a pivotal race right now where it's kind of like put up or shut up in terms of the championship hopefuls. Had a couple of battles that are winning, and one is with the drivers that they're going to go down to the wire to the last race of the year in contention for the championship. And then there are the few that the competition was almost showing them the door, but they're not going away quietly. There are a couple of drivers, especially in top fuel and funny car, maybe not in pro stock, but pro stock motorcycle, that really don't want to leave that car. It does seem that the clock is ticking, and this may appear that it is the last call, so to speak. Well, countdown to the championship snapshot here. You take a look at three race remain, races remaining in the countdown, and these are the points leaders as we enter this weekend. Justin Ashley in top fuel leads by just 14 points. Robert Hunt was the number one seed in funny car. He comes with 46 points in the lead. Eric Enders has got the biggest at 120. And Matt Smith in pro stock motorcycle took that lead back last weekend. To is so essential to our spiritual health and the health of God's people, the church. And so when we come to this passage of scripture in Romans chapter 13 today, we do it knowing that it is applicable and relevant. You don't have to make the Bible relevant. The Bible is relevant. And it's our responsibility who preach it and teach it, who hear it and obey it, is to rely upon its truth and obey God's word. We believe in a biblical world view. That is, we see the world and everything in it through the lens of Scripture, rather than seeing the Scripture through the lens of the world or culture, we view everything around us through the lens, the view of God's Word. So when we look at something like this war in Ukraine, 